You can easily cut four or 500 calories out of your diet earlier in the day and then use that in the evening to have a beer with the guys. Hey, Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic, and I have a fantastic, fun conversation to have with you guys today, and that is how to ditch your beer gut without giving up your beer. God, dude, everybody should want to hear this one, all right? I love it. Now, guys, a lot of y'all probably think I'm some mean, ogre, harsh trainer that is incredibly strict with my diet, and I expect the same from my clients and you. And that's really not the case. I'm a normal guy and I really like to drink. <laughs> Matter of fact, I drink too much sometimes, um, but not like I did in college. Anyway, guys, I don't have a beer gut, but I like drinking beer. Matter of fact, I like drinking vodka and bourbon also. So how in the world can we do this? Enjoy ourselves but still not get a beer gut. Stick around. All right, so before I get into the five little tips that we're gonna go through here in just a second, I wanna, I wanna explain one thing about alcohol. And that is, it is, I think, the only substance that we ever ingest that our body really can't use for anything, all right? Sugar is terrible for you, right? But at least your body can use sugar as a source of energy, all right? Alcohol, is completely worthless, all right? So it's empty calories. Your body can't even metabolize that alcohol and use it as a source of energy like a canned sugar. So it just stores that alcohol. It is a total waste. And then the other negative effect of alcohol, and this really is worrisome for these serious fitness guys, the guys that compete, bodybuilders, the fitness physique guys, and that is because when you drink alcohol, it temporarily disrupts your body's ability to synthesize protein and turn it into muscle, all right? So if you have too much alcohol on a regular basis, not only are you just storing unusable calories, your body can't do anything with it, but it's also hurting your body's ability to repair all those damaged muscle fibers that you work so hard at during your exercise routine early in the day. And so your muscles are not actually growing as fast or as much as they otherwise would if you would just skip the alcohol. So that is another really good reason not to overdo the alcohol. All right, tip number one, let's just start off here. I recommend you save it for occasions. Now, let me define that better for you. I'm not, remember, I'm not so mean <laughs> ogre here. I don't mean occasions like, you know, three times a year for your birthday, for Christmas and Thanksgiving. I mean, just don't drink it every single night, all right? A lot of people, a lot of my friends, okay, because I'm 59, a lot of my friends drink alcohol every single night, seven days a week. And you know why? Well, because they lived to 7 p.m. They think that is reason enough to celebrate and have some alcohol, okay? Or they just made it home from work, all right? <laughs> Safe and sound. So just because you come home in the evening doesn't mean you should treat yourself to three martinis or a couple of margaritas or four glasses or five glasses of wine, all right? I see that all the time. Matter of fact, one of my golf buddies drinks at least one bottle of red wine every single night, seven days a week. All right, he walks on the golf course. He plays, I don't know, five days a week. He's walking eight miles every time he plays golf and he can't lose any fat. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> so guys, you know, this, this buddy of mine is drinking five, six glasses of red wine every night. So I drink every week I drink. I just don't drink every day. I would say I, I save my drinking for when a friend comes over to the house. I never, ever, ever drink by myself. It's just, it's just wasted, right? So a buddy comes over, I'll have a drink or two, sometimes even three drinks, all right, if we're really having a good time and there's some reason to celebrate. But guys, try to limit the number of nights and that will go a long way. And the other thing, I mentioned margaritas a minute ago. Your typical light beer has what, 110, 120 calories, all right? Same thing with a glass of wine. It's about the same, 110, 120 calories. Uh, mixed drinks are, if, if you're mixing them with just water, they're probably a little less than that. 
Uh, but a margarita, a margarita typically has anywhere from 300 to 500 calories in them, depending on how you make them and how big they are. So guys, really, really do yourself a favor and stay away from the margaritas. All right guys, tip number two, and that is try HIT. H-I-I-T, high intensity interval training. So if you're trying to lose that beer gut, but you still wanna have a good time having a beer with the guys, just change your workouts up during the week. And that is because HIIT style workouts do are far, far more efficient at burning calories than traditional weightlifting style workouts where you're really focused on just building muscle. Um, and that's because if you've seen any of the other videos I've shot on this, this, this uh, YouTube channel, you'll know I've talked about this in great detail, but, but when you really do a tough HIIT style workout, it raises your resting metabolic rate for hours and hours and hours long after your workout's over, which means you're burning more calories throughout the day because of that style workout. So if you're just looking to put on muscle, especially if you're already really lean, you don't need to do HIIT. But guys who are trying to put on muscle and lose that beer gut, man, HIIT style workouts are a really fantastic and super efficient way to do it. All right, tip number three, guys. Start making smarter food choices throughout the course of the week. And let me just give you a few, few very, very simple, straightforward ones. And that is, guys, avoid sugar at all costs. I mean, skip the ice cream, the cake, the candy bars, whatever, okay? And if you have a sweet tooth, that's cool. This is what you do. Try buying light Greek yogurt. All right, it tastes really sweet, but it's, got, it's very, very low in sugar, and it's got a lot of protein. It's fantastic for you. I have a little cup of that every single night, all right, after dinner, because I still have the munchies. I'm craving I'm just like you guys, and that sweetness that comes with that light Greek yogurt really helps with my cravings, okay? And another thing I do all the time, sugar-free popsicles, okay? <laughs> so another thing, it, trick, it tricks that sweet tooth, that, those cravings you might be having for sugar. So I, I got a couple of things like that that I love to do. And then finally, the sodas. Most of you guys don't realize how many calories are in, you know, Coca-Cola or whatever, and also fruit juices. Man, you know, uh, apple juice, orange juice have got a ton of sugar, so skip those. And I buy bottles and bottles and bottles of carbonated flavored water with no sugar added. Okay, it's just the store brand. They're big two liter bottles. They're super inexpensive. They're about 80 cents, less than a dollar a piece. They taste great and they're flavored. Okay, they have artificial flavor in, no sugar. And that means I don't get any kind of artificial temporary spike in my blood sugar level, which is what really screws you up. So just make those few simple, smart food choices where you substitute stuff that's good for you in lieu of the sugar. Okay guys, tip number four, try a supplement. It won't work for everybody watching this video, but it will work for a lot of you guys. Uh, we have something called Testo Greens. Um, which is really good at ridding your body of excess estrogen. I know we're guys, but still, um, we do produce estrogen. So it's, it's one of those things your body does with all the hormones. It tries to keep estrogen in balance with your testosterone levels, but sometimes it just really gets out of whack. And, and it, our body just doesn't work like it did when we were in our 20s. Everything just was, was wonderful and imbalanced back in the good old days, but not anymore. So. If you're, if you're holding on to the excess estrogen, if your body is producing more than it should, okay, and it's, it's really hard to know unless you're getting blood tests, what it will do is it will make your body hold on to excess fat, okay, not just water, but fat. I mean, that's why women have such a hard time losing weight. As a matter of fact, that's why women can never get as lean as a guy can because they have way more estrogen in their system than we do. So guys, just give it a try. You won't, you know, it, you'll know within a month or two if it's working. And if it's not, okay, just, no biggie. Just let us know. Send us an email. We'll refund your money. So there's absolutely no risk. But, but I recommend all the time. I'm always recommending people at least try supplements because you never know. It's it's a very genetic thing. It's a uh, a lot of times it's determined by your genetics. Okay, I should say. 
Some people see great results, some people see only marginal results, and then some people, it has nothing to do with their genetics and it has to do with their horrible nutrition, okay? And the supplements can really help alleviate that problem. So just give them a try, and if you don't like them, no problem, just, just let us know. All right, last tip, number five, just plan a little bit ahead and reduce your caloric intake for the day. All right, so if you know you've got some buddies coming over and you wanna do some drinking, playing cards or something like that, or watching a movie, watching a football game, just skip a meal earlier in the day, all right? Skip breakfast, skip lunch, or just really reduce the portion size or skip part of the meal. Just plan ahead. You can easily cut four or 500 calories out of your diet earlier in the day and then use that in the evening to have a beer with the guys. It's, it's really straightforward, guys. There's nothing to it. But remember, five good tips here, but they're not gonna happen overnight, right? Which means you gotta stick with it and never give up on yourself.